Okay, um, what I'm going to show here is I have uh, these batteries. They're in series uh, 5.7 volts, and that's measured there. And then I have these two leads that come over here. The negative is hooked up to the foil here, and this is the positive. And I'm going to touch this magnet that's sitting on this foil right on the top edge. Let me watch what it does. Moves that direction. Okay. Now, if I touch it in the center, let's see. It moves that direction. Uh, it doesn't really matter how I have the wire, I can bring it in from this side. If I touch the top, she goes that direction. Uh, I can change this to eliminate possible passive current and field generated by the foil, because now if it's connected here, the current should be running in this direction. So now let's touch the top again. She goes that direction. And touch the side right in the middle she rolls in that direction it's kind of strange now I can touch this side also and it'll still roll back towards this let me see here sometimes if you have the wire right next to it the field on the wire will twist it a little bit you can see no matter which side I hit in the middle of the magnet it'll roll towards me and then on the top oops, roll in that direction now if I could keep the wire on there the whole time which is kind of hard there's some screws here in the table um, also we have our compass effect going on here where the smooth surface allows this magnet to want to spin north so I could change let's see I could change this I could, uh, magnet wants to spin with it now we'll hit it on the top again it goes that direction and we hit it on the side and it comes back towards me uh, it's a lot of current, I'm sure, going through here. The uh, battery came down a little bit, battery pack, because I'm basically dead shorting across this magnet. Um, anyway, just wanted to show that. Thanks.